Hey everybody, Josh here with Double Product Launch Day. Uh, we teased you a couple of days ago with a video that said this changes everything. I know that's a big statement, but this truly is, I think, the biggest launch we've had since we introduced Secret Chain Blend almost two years ago. This is a big one. So super proud today to announce the Silka Hot Melt Wax uh, Melter or Melting System. Um, it's something we've actually worked pretty hard on. It's a 600 milliliter uh, wax melter, pr custom preset for exactly the wax melting temperature you need for bicycle chain waxing. So turn it on, starts at 75 degrees Celsius. That's the temperature to use Secret Blend. It goes up to 85, which is the temperature for Hot Wax X. And it goes to 125 so that you can use a new product that we're going to show you in just a second here. So uh, really super fast heating, 10 to 12 minutes. We've got a custom uh, full circumference heater band in there that heats the wax really evenly. Uh, PID control, not thermostatic, so it really ramps nicely. No risk of burning or damaging the wax. Have this beautiful wax stand with a cable coupler that you can feed the cable through the chain, uh, drop the chain in when you're done, hang it back up at the top uh, to cool and harden, and you're ready to go. And then your system's right there taking up uh, not all that much space but for uh, to, to be used next time. But the real excitement and the reason that this wax melting system is so important is this product. This, everybody, we have worked over two years on this. We've worked with uh, organic chemist, we've worked with agri-science people, and this I think is going to be an absolute game changer when it comes to waxing your chain. Uh, this is called Strip Chip. It is a, essentially looks like a candy bar. It has six square chips that will strip the chain in the hot wax. You heard that right. True one-step hot waxing of a factory chain. So how does it work? Well, if you think of uh, technology of the past, we really was trying to think, can we hydrogenate oil like they do in the food industry? You think of, uh, you know, Crisco is just hydrogenated cottonseed oil and margarine is hydrogenated canola oil. And when you hydrogenate the oil, it becomes more stable, but it also can become, you know, rather wax-like. And so I started talking to uh, organic chemists and agri-science people and they turn me on to this world uh, that's quite new in agri-science, and it's something known as oleogelation. Now, oleogelation is fascinating. It is hoped to replace hydrogenation in food fats, as it does not have the health risks associated with hydrogenation, but you get the hardening of the fat uh, to get the similar you know, shelf stability and mouthfeel and all of those other things that, uh, th that you want uh, in processed uh, baked goods and things like that. So it, it's being developed for that. And we really went into the lab and said, you know, here are the, the most common chain brands out there. They're all using grease. All of those greases have mineral oil based. They're all mineral oil based greases, right? So grease is, uh, is an oil with a thickener and then oftentimes some additives for friction or corrosion. But the, the challenge to your wax is really the oil. Right, so you think of, you know, here's a graphic we, we have. The, the waxes are these very long chain, either amorphous or crystalline molecules. And you get the wax by refining out all of the oil because the oil acts as a solvent to wax. And so what happens when you put a factory grease chain into the wax, that oil acts as a solvent. It breaks the wax molecules down, making them much shorter, which makes them much softer. And when the molecules are shorter and softer, they squeeze out of the chain much, much faster. So we've got studies uh, that show some pretty interesting stuff. You put uh, one factory grease chain into 500 grams of hot wax, and it will lose about 15% of its hardness. You put two in there, it loses about 25 to 30% of its hardness. And at that point, your single application longevity of a hot wax application goes from over 300 kilometers to about 100 maybe 125 kilometers. Literally, the contamination of two factory chains into 500 grams of wax is enough to 
essentially ruin the wax. I mean, it cuts your longevity to a third of what it should have been. We approach this from the standpoint of what can we do to that oil in the grease uh, to, to turn it into essentially a fat or a wax. And oleogelation is the answer. It doesn't literally convert it to a wax, but it turns it into an incredibly wax-like molecule, as you can see in our graphic here. And those wax-like molecules uh, do not break down or damage the performance of the base wax. So uh, when you look at the product, it's got this sort of cool uh, lamination happening. That is the tungsten disulfide and actually another chemical in there, that uh, organic chemical that is a hardener to help adjust the hardness of the wax to offset uh, this oleogelation effect. And so these three layers combined uh, in only 10 minutes will essentially replace the factory grease, converting it into these wax-like molecules. And if you think about it, the factory grease, it's a good lubricant. It's just a bad chain lubricant in the real world because it is so attractive to dirt and dust and other contamination. But if we can capture it, convert it, uh, you know, the other additives in there, the low friction additives, the corrosion additives, they can remain in the wax without hurting anything. Uh, we really just have to take care of the oils, which again, act as the solvents on the wax. So uh, guys, I, like I said, two years, I mean, we have sweated, you couldn't even imagine to get to this. This is true one step waxing, right? We, with chain stripper, we brought you one step degreasing and then you wax with strip chip. We are giving you, uh, put the strip chip in the wax in the melter, set it to 125 C. I forgot to mention that part. Uh, one of the, the challenges with this is it occurs at a very specific temperature and that is 125 degrees Celsius. That is hot enough to soften the oil in the grease in the chain uh, to allow it to uh, kind of commingle and then attach to the oleogelator in here. Uh, it, it's only 10 minutes, so this guy has a 125 setting. You set it to 125, put your strip chip in, allow it to melt, dip the chain in, give it a little agitation, maybe come back a few minutes later, give it a little more agitation. That'll really help uh, kind of mix the oleogelator with the grease. Then set it to 75. It takes about 12 minutes to cool from 125 to 75. As soon as it gets to 75, pull the chain and hang it, you are done. One step. 12 to 15 minutes total uh, with the strip chip system. So uh, I'm gonna leave it at that. I am sure that everybody out there has questions. Uh, everybody internally and within the industry we pitched this to is generally started out by saying, no way, that's insane. And then when you really sit and work through the chemistry uh, and then actually have them ride it, uh, you know, un unbeknownst to some of our athletes, uh, strip chip chains have won probably about 30, 40 races over the last seven or eight months, including world tour uh, races, stages at major tours, things like that. It just works. And uh, we're gonna put another video out really diving into what is oleogelation, how does it work? But what are your questions? Uh, I, I know how I think I'm gonna have that conversation, but please leave your comments and questions below. You really help us uh, you know, come up with the words uh, and ask the questions of, of the experts that we work with, the chemists and the, the agri-science people. Your questions and comments really help us kind of formulate in our questions to them and then hopefully bring back the answers that you want. So as always, hit like, please subscribe, leave your questions and comments below, uh, check out the link to the product page. We said this changes everything and honestly, guys, I, I think this changes everything.